Hi, so this is in the way of just a quick update, because in the last video what we did was electroplated leaf. And at the end of that video, what I'd done is taken a flower and coated it the ink. And here it is after a day. In, in a minute, what we'll do is have a close-up of that. But all we did with that was dip it in the ink, let it dry, and then we put it into our universal plating solution here, where we've got a copper positive wrapped around this um, plastic bowl, filled with the plating solution, hang the rows on a piece of glass, and then connect it up. Now, we'll do a better job if we put um, a bubbler in there, so something like an aquarium pump, just to keep things moving. We didn't do that, we just left it. But as I say, I thought the result was actually quite beautiful. So I'm going to put a link to the ink in the description and the universal plating solution, if you fancy giving this a go. The ink does do a lovely job of coating with a conformal coat, a nice close coat on objects, so you keep the... Um, surface detail of whatever it is that you're trying to play it. Anyway, let's have a close look at that rose. Anyway, I think that's really quite beautiful actually, and I'm really pleased with the result. So the next thing we're going to do, I think, is our baby shoes. Anyway, that's how to electroplate or copper plate a, a flower or a leaf or a natural organic material. I hope you enjoyed it and thank you very much for watching.